Okay, now that we have our line set up, we are going to take our needle and we're going to take the cap off and make sure you always put that in a place that you know where it's at so you don't lose it because it is clear and kind of hard to find. We're going to take some skin on the back of Luna's shoulders or a little bit behind it. Somewhere in this area, we're going to pull up and we're going to make a tent. So make a little area here where you pull up and you know that when you go straight into that tent that you will be going under her skin. So I'm going to take my needle and put it right into that tent. And then you can let the skin down. If you have two people, then you can use two people. This That will be really helpful. Um, if not, you can kind of use your body. Um, so I'm going to hold this. And what's going to release that, that fluid is me turning this dial. So I'm going to pull that back up and that's going to take the pressure off. And then you're going to see that flowing, see that nice steady flow. Um, that drip is fine too. If you can, the higher you hold it, usually the better the flow you get. Um, so if you can hold it up higher, if she's being really good like she is right now, um, then that is the best. And then on the bag, you'll see lines. So right now we're starting above the one and Dr. Kitson will give us an amount of fluids to give. So you'll just wanna make sure that you look at where you're at before you start to give the fluids. Once the fluids are finished, you can put the bag down. You will roll your little roller down And then you're going to, a lot of times like a paper towel or a piece of gauze will help kind of just hold that off for a minute. Then you'll just pull that out, put your needle cap back on and hold that off. Because sometimes a few like drops of fluid will leak out and that's okay.